podcast episode 17, learn how to measure, record, track, women equity. Goal number 5, gender equality. Basic course, diversity, equity, inclusion. Project Nari Shakti, by Cream Technology. Copyright, Jeremy and Raja Iyer. All rights reserved. Women Empowerment, an intro. Women's Empowerment. Ask yourself, who is to empower whom? Women's suffrage, number one in the U.S., for the women the right to vote, the right known as women's suffrage, was ratified on August 18, 1920, ending almost a century of protest. Number two, in the U.K., on the 10th January 1918, the House of Lords gave approval for women over the age of 30 who met a property qualification to vote. Let me refer to SDG goal number 5. 5.5 Ensure women's full and effective participation and equal opportunities for leadership at all levels of decision making in political, economic and public life as well as the gender specific targets and the other sustained SDGs. There are three spheres of influence political, economic and public life. So women empowerment is not for the asking. Ladies and girls have to fight for it. It's not like a group of women demonstrate and get it. Each person, a lady or a girl, has to empower herself. Having done effective strategy toward women empowerment, there are several means to an end. The means are women's empowerment principles, gender equality index, gender equity model, sustainable stock exchanges. The end product is women equity. There is strong evidence linking performance to diversity. Performance by the woman in custom is the underlining factor. What she earns is represented by women equity. Levels of decision making leading in each of the 17 SDG development goals. Companies function by technique, not self-control. Note, these strategies women have to check and find out what benefits they get. This course is designed to make you understand and make sure each woman is empowered and your status be measured, recorded and tracked throughout one's journey in your development in all the three spheres of influence from an intern to a CEO to Chairman Emeritus. The most important aspect of this exercise is to develop a strategic advancement in the organization one works for, extending your spheres of influence to every other 16 SDG development goals. The course study will bring you the confidence and be aware of the responsibility for leadership at all levels of decision making, leading in each of the 17 SDG development goals. Cream Technology Architecture CREAM is an acronym for Corporate Governance, Risk Management, Earnings, Accounting Quality, and Management Quality. The 17 SDGs are trifurcated to three pillars of nine social, four environmental, and four economic development goals. Goal number five, gender equality, is part of the nine social pillar will remain the main pillar for the entire 17 SDGs. Mark my word. DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, is a spine vis-a-vis the four main techniques used by different organizations. Women's Empowerment Principles, WEP, Gender Equality Index, GEI, 
Gender Equity Model GEM Sustainable Stock Exchanges SSC What are they? How do they gel with goal number 5 Gender Equality? Based on which Corporate Sustainability Report is prepared wherein Operation Women Equity is the principal mover. The entire 17 SDGs depend on the success of OWE, Operation Women Equity. Crime technology measures, records, trucks, the main beneficiary of the 17 SDGs, yeah, women. Every one of them by Women Equity. Project Elite, Women Equity, Education, Learning, Implementation, Training, Execution Education Rule expresses the truth and justifies the conduct. WEP, GEI, GEM, SSC are suggested rules or policies to follow set by different agencies like Ankton or Bloomberg or World Bank. Justify the conduct is to ensure there is no policy accidents or policy politics. Women equity is a resultant measurement of women empowerment. In a company of say a million workforce, if 30% are women, then 300k women equity is obtained. That is the knowledge base of women equity for a single company. That knowledge base is the goal of ethics. Importing this knowledge is the education cream technology provides. And number two, a learning. The pulsating energy of an individual with an amazing capabilities as a pivotal energy force with a fixed value in a specified mathematical context enables the accomplishment of an infinite succession of finite purposes by controlling each goal. Understanding the concept of three laws, matter, energy and antimatter, and its application to corporate management operating systems is crucial. What is crucial for learners is to bring the abstractions into reality Acknowledge value where value is due and deconstruct what is valueless. That is a new form of capitalism, ethically, morally and fairly implemented. Women equity will be the principal mover toward this direction. Number three, implementation. Makers of the skills you gain by Constructing a corporate management operating system within your organization. The science and metaphysics is a compelling subject for corporate managers. Practice of corporate sustainability begins here. Pins to planes, windows to Android. We have operating systems. How to bring about one for the individuals? Understanding the concept of three laws, matter, energy and antimatter, its application to corporate management with a common denominator, intangible, pinpointing the areas where matter is energy waiting to happen, thereby identifying NPAs, facilitating the preparation of an index of inactivity by each individual and by each process block becomes the pivotal governance standard for corporate management operating system. Number four, training uh, and uh, project elite, women equity. Converts women equity to brand equity by way of training others within your area of influence. After women's suffrage came into play, what happened next? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Women empowerment would be the same if you as an individual do not take it forward. Women empowerment 
is the first step by which power is conferred. Then crime technology specifies the way forward with good governance to give that power stability. Women empowerment enters at this stage the domain of gender equality. Women equity is the stabilizing factor with the organization you are associated with. Women empowerment is an idea just as it was for women suffrage. By six stages of transformation the idea is carried to a substance of quality. Strategy plan 2030 shall specify the organizational growth projected of qualitative as well as quantitative elements of management with a clear identification of women equity. Then measure, record, track women equity converting CAGR to CDGR daily growth rate, CARR to CDRR daily reduction rate. That is to say construct value and deconstruct valueless. Lead from the front to occupy a seat in every task envisioned in the strategy 2030. Project Delight Women Equity Number 5 Execution As 5.5 says Gender Equality Leadership at all levels of decision making in political, economic and public life. The most difficult part of the entire exercise is the preparation of strategy plan 2030 for the organization they work for. That is the creative process. Women suffrage once a time. What did the women get? Nothing. That's because they didn't have a plan to start with and thereby no plan of action to follow. Do not come out of the last stage without a proper strategy plan 2030 for women equity. Strategy plan 2030 empowers you. Now get it executed. Women equity is a capability model. Strategy plan 2030 is of gender equality. Tasks are assigned respect to one's gender but of one's capability. Be ready to take the challenge identifying where women in general or superior to men in an organization. Let me give a, a brief account of my IPR, a cream technology. What is highlighted in the goal number five, gender equality, is the inequality that women and girls face day to day in our lives. As much as women's suffrage for the inequality that existed before, trying to establish women's rights. That is not the purpose of goal number five. The purpose is women empowerment, attracting leadership at all levels of decision making in political, economic and public life, which is the removal of inequality and get empowered. Whereas women empowerment is a step further to create a level playing field for both. Cream technology is a systematic approach to define fundamental power base that is natural to human race. It is a profound theory that shall remain unchallenged forever, assisting organization to establish a robust management operating system within. Please go through the table of content. Intangible is proved as a constant, an energy force with a fixed value in a specified mathematical context, enabling the accomplishment of an infinite succession of finite purposes by controlling each goal. That is the common denominator by which gender equality is obtained. Theory is important that application becomes easy as corporate sustainability is assured by practicing it, what the theory establishes. 
Cream technology, a brief uh, intro on the practice. Podcast episodes 1 to 16. In a series of podcasts on practice of corporate sustainability, corporate management operating system is brought to the fore. This has attracted a number of corporate from different countries globally. There has been 252 to 37 downloads as of uh, August 2022 uh, via my website plus a number of companies who have events of great interest via the LinkedIn. Practice of Corporate Sustainability, a compendium of these podcasts mentioned left, I shall uh, publish in the form of a book that should assist the women fools that pitch their advancement toward women empowerment. The basic course on gender equality embraces all the 17 SDGs as well as opportunities in all the three spheres of influence, political, economic and public life. Let me take you to the next uh, uh, important thing which I am trying to provide you with. Uh, women equity basic course. There are three lessons which I have indicated. Lesson one is know thyself. It's important that uh, women come to know what their capabilities are, how exciting it is, how it had to be applied. Lesson two is the analytics of catchwords. The third lesson, the final lesson, which I'd like to provide you with, is an activity-based cost management. The measuring cost consequence. What you learn, know thyself, was a message in the forecourt of the Temple of Apollo. It is said to be for every individual who is in pursuit of self-knowledge. In the context of corporate management, where a single company is spread over many a country, employing thousands of men and women for the business enterprise, knowledge about oneself becomes crucial for corporate development, a stable parameter by which the rest of the corporate is calibrated. A wise group of companies would look into this dictum, know thyself, for self-governance. This is an extract from my book. What you will learn is the pulsating energy of an individual with amazing capabilities as a pivotal energy force, with a fixed value in a specified mathematical context, enables the accomplishment of an infinite succession of finite purposes by controlling each goal. Number two, ethics, which is subtler than the subtle. How is it identified from the level of the known external feature? Tangible, visible and extends to the level of the unknown. Number three, how to align corporate with the laws of universe. Women capability to self-govern would lead to empowerment. Uh, women equity, uh, basic course. Lesson number two, analytics of uh, catchwords. Number two is uh, skills you will gain. Analytics of uh, catchwords. Just and equitable is not an aspiration of political statement for voters, but an invitation for stakeholders to vote with their ballot. Money is business. To attract money in business, state your stand. Measure it so that society understand it as their testimony of your will and actions. Just and equitable should have a reference to the context and so should societal good. Instead of being merely a catchword, for catchwords face the issue of being unexamined and unanalyzed over a while. They just disappear for another new catchword. Society remains confused and disordered. Practically, the society does not respond and the catchwords remain the monopoly of a few. 
So let's try for my book. Number one, Women's Empowerment Principle, Gender Equality Index, Gender Equity Model, Sustainable Stock Exchanges, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion are all related to gender equality. There are several initiatives that come and dis literally disappear, such as CSR, ESG, the World uh, Economic Forum's uh, Stakeholders Capitalism Matrix for a common matrix and consistent reporting of sustainable value creation, societal changes, a gross national happiness index, etc. How does one add to one's resume the knowledge base to ensure women's full and effective participation and equal opportunities for leadership? at all levels of decision making in political, economic and public life, as well as the gender specific targets under the other 16 SDGs. As an intern, as an independent director, how to measure the catchwords? A women equity a basic course, a lesson number three, in activity based cost management. Measuring cause consequence now 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 about this a specialization in activity based cost management IBCM functions on the following five principles principle number one what gets measured gets managed principle number two measure qualitative elements of management principle number three corporate atomic structure Principle number four, return on intangible. Principle number five, emergent property phenomenon. I shall indicate on principle number five, which correlates to the first four principles. The three principles of emergent property, according to Nobel laureate Murray Jelman, are as follows. One, conformability of nature to herself. Number two, applicability of simplicity number three and reasonable effectiveness by emergent property he means you don't add something more to get something more rather shed your inhibitions and focus on using your ethical assets emergent property means is corporate yoga to continue number one conformability of nature to herself for nature is very consonant and conformable to herself, says Isaac Newton. With corporate atomic structure, the first principle, conformability of nature to herself, is met. Number two, applicability of simplicity. It is ensured by limiting the entire management process to only two, the creative process and the action process. The second principle of emergent property the applicability of the criterion of simplicity is met. Number three, unreasonable effectiveness. A return on intangible covering the entire gamut of management with a single formula. The unreasonable effectiveness principle is met. Unreasonable effectiveness is out of resolving a paradox with the least number of mathematical calculations. Goal number five, gender equality, brought under the five principles, would serve women empowerment and provide practical guide to address the issues raised by 16 other SDGs. I am giving here PM Modi's uh, speech, part of it, on the 75th uh, anniversary of uh, Independence Day from Redford. PM Modi said that respect for women is an important pillar of India's growth and stressed the need to extend support to Nari Shakti and appeal to change the mentality towards women in everyday life. I have one request for 
every Indian, he says. Can we change the mentality towards our women in everyday life? Pride of Nari Shakti will play a vital role in fulfilling the dreams of India. A respect for women is an important pillar for India's growth. We need to support our Nari Shakti, said PM Modi. He added, a distortion has crept in our conduct and we at times insult women. Can we take a pledge to get rid of this in our behavior? PM Modi urged the people to take a pledge to get rid of everything that humiliates women in everyday life. It is important that in speech and conduct we do nothing that lowers the dignity of women. Modi said the more opportunities we give to women and to our daughters the more we will reap the benefits from their contribution. Prime Minister Modi said the more opportunities we give to women and to our daughters the more we will reap the benefits from their contribution. I fully endorse that view as corporate would be the beneficiaries reaping profits and growth. I find women equity central to the 17 SDGs. Ensuring its success in each of the 17 SDGs is going to trigger a tectonic shift in the three spheres of influence, political, economic and public life. What CREAM technology offers is the measuring, recording, tracking women equity by each person. I shall start with the basic cause for women equity that this podcast refers to next. The course today I am developing shall bring the women force in particular the confidence to be aware of their responsibility for leadership at all levels of decision making leading in each of the 17 SDG development goals. They may not realize now but women equity is critical for the advancement of human endeavor. However, corporate shall take note of it now in establishing value system within that domain, critical for development. Project Nari Shakti is doable.